Welcome back. Elon Musk will now run Twitter without a board of directors, which he dissolved following a merger agreement. In one of his other shakeups, he's also announced an $8 monthly verification fee. Let's talk about all of these developments with Lisa Esterhays, an lecturer in the Department of Business Management at Stellenbosch University. Lisa, a very good afternoon to you. Welcome to the program. Is Elon Musk the revival that Twitter has been waiting for? Hi, good afternoon, Timikwele. Thank you very much for, for having me. Yes, it is certainly a, quite a shock, um, but maybe not for all of us that he let go most of the, the main uh, heads at Twitter. Uh, it is uh, something that we should maybe keep an eye out for, uh, especially when it comes to freedom of speech and all the different uh, type of elements that is then drawn into such a platform or the different doors that it opens up. So, um, yeah, whether that is the answer for Twitter, that is something we need to look out for. Uh, what we have seen with Twitter and the current um, um, numbers that we've seen in, in terms of the users is it has been in uh, quite a decline with the valuable, the active users. So it does seem like there is a, a, certainly a, a drastic measure that needs to be implemented. And um, if that's anyone, it surely is Musk that will help or that will certainly make a change towards maybe increasing that uh, usage. But when you introduce a cost element, for example, for people who are verified $8 a month to a service that's largely so far been free, right? You just needed Wi-Fi or an internet connection. Is that not counterproductive at a time when people don't want to pay for anything they don't want to or they don't have to fund? Yes, uh, whether that's kind of productive, I'm, I'm sure there's different ways of, of looking at it. Uh, I, I believe the argument for the fee is to attract or rather to get rid of all these fake accounts or lessen them. So I believe that is the initial strategy with that, whether that works or not. Um, and yeah, I think it's that payment is for actually remaining or keeping that blue tick. And um, if we talk in terms of these high uh, celebrities with high earning or, or high income, I'm sure $8 a month is not going to break the bank. But when we do look at smaller brands or influencers uh, that may um, or that use these blue ticks as a form of you know, making sure that they attract certain types of clients, that could definitely harm them because it's an increase of, of these costs, of course. So, um, yes, I think the idea might be to then attract or then to lessen um, certain um, users that want to bring in accurate uh, or offensive information to a platform like that. Mm. But, um, yeah, I think we'll have to see, see yeah, what the, what, how the engagement looks like. Could it drive, though, Lisa, the cost element to all these changes? Could it drive people, say, back to Facebook or more onto Instagram, especially when you consider already the reach of Facebook and the fact that even on Instagram, if you were to advertise, unless you really want to for the post to circulate, you wouldn't have to pay Yes, that is definitely a very good argument for that. The thing is, though, that uh, currently uh, we've seen a huge shift of Twitter users already going to Instagram and Facebook already. So it seems as though that that is happening already without um, these uh, additional costs. So I, the, I think if we look at it face value, if nothing else changes, yes, I would definitely think that that is the way it will go, like that more users would then use uh, a free apps to, to uh, post their views. But what I think, or what I understand uh, Elon Musk is trying to create is this digital town square where people can go um, view or uh, rather post their views um, hopefully in a constructive manner and that they form some sort of a um, environment where people can go view or, or they can post their uh, differing views on there. So maybe there is a, a need for a paid platform in order to attract the right type of content that you are looking for right. or that, yes, something like that. So maybe um, in, a, in a reverse way by paying for the content, it could be uh, attracting a, a certain crowd of, of users. And in terms of free speech as a hook, 
a, a selling point. You look at so, social media at the moment, Donald Trump, after he was banned from Twitter, went and created his own platform. There are other more, some would say, right-wing, in fact, there are right-wing leading sites uh, where there's a lot of misinformation, disinformation. But with Twitter, given the current regulations, that's likely going to be more difficult, isn't it? Because just recently when uh, Musk tweeted, the bird is free, a representative from the EU replied, but here in Europe, it'll fly by our rules. That is a very good point. And that is something that I believe is great uh, when we look at that post that that uh, EU representative made because that gives us the indication that people don't want to take anyone's nonsense. So I don't believe that uh, only Elon Musk will be responsible for the content that is on the platform. I believe what the culture that has been um, that's out there, everyone feels responsible to be active in what they believe. If we divert to a different example, for example, Kanye West making offensive statements recently um, where the public went out and they um, signed a form or they had a petition written up with Adidas, the company, mm -hmm. And that company uh, let go their ties with Kanye West. So I believe that something similar is out there or, or that is something that will be regulated um, with, the, with this uh, platform. Uh, Elon Musk also mentioned that there will be a content moderating uh, um, um, uh, board that will be set up before any of these policies will be confirmed. Right. However, big companies such as the automobile uh, General Motors have paused their advertising uh, already until these conditions have been confirmed. So people are on the lookout, um, but I don't believe it's only Elon Musk's responsibility. But however the governance is, and it seems as though his intention is to create a fair and um, a fair platform okay. for people's beliefs. Lisa Esther Hazen, a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you with Sunbosch University's Business School. We're going